Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on this very basic circuit board. We'll be using KiCad and this is a beginner video. If you've got any experience with KiCad at all, it's just, uh, you're probably beyond this and you should uh, seek out other videos. Um, but we'll get started and what I'm going to work through is I'm going to work through creating a schematic and that schematic will look something like this. Uh, very simple and it's just three LEDs and three resistors to uh, to limit those LEDs and then we'll create the circuit board itself or the, the, the traces in the circuit board um, in the circuit board to, in PCB new the circuit board tool and um, I'll show you how to go through that and then uh, what you're seeing on my my wallpaper is a result of a render uh, KiCad has a great uh, 3d viewer in it this is the standard view and of course this is the render final rendered view I made for this video so uh, let's get started to begin we're going to be opening KiCad so to begin let's just open KiCad I have an icon saved on my desktop now because I already have a, a copy running it's asking me if I want to continue so I'm just going to say yes you probably won't get that and you'll be presented with this window so what we're going to have to do is uh, I'm going to close this project actually um, we'll just open a new one. So you can do a new project from the file menu or you can do a new one from this icon right here. You'll present, be presented with a file dialog and I'm gonna go to uh, my KiCad folder where I have all, all my projects. And we're just gonna do a uh, stoplight, we'll call it, and, uh, and just click save. And that's gonna create a schematic uh, file and the PCB file for you to, to work on. So the first one we're going to open is the schematic file. I'm going to, I'm going to dock this to half the screen. And so we'll start with the uh, schematic file. So let's open that and get started. So to open the schematic, you can either click on the item in the tree view or this icon here. So I'm going to do that and we'll bring that into view. Let's maximize this and zoom and zoom up. So in the schematic, we'll be adding what's called uh, symbols. And in KiCad, symbols are differentiated as the items that go on the schematic and components go on the circuit board. So to add a, uh, let's look at what we're going to do first. And basically we're going to add three LEDs, three resistors, a connector, and four mounting holes. So let's start doing that. So I'm just going to click on the symbol tool and just click anywhere towards the middle. KiCad will load up the library of, of tools and we're going to search in that to find it. That's an error I'm getting because my Arduino library isn't that found. So to, to to add an LED, I'm going to type in LED, and you can see it's found a generic one. Keep in mind that this is a representative of the symbol, and it's not going to have a model number or a particular part number attached to it. So I'm just going to drop that towards the middle, and let's zoom up so it's easier to work with. I did that with a scroll wheel. And now let's going to, we're going to click over here to add a resistor. And again, I'm just going to type R, because there's a handy R for resistor. And that's a generic resistor. I think that's the European version. I'm gonna click on that and drop that there. Next, I'm gonna add the connector. And there's two entries for connectors. There's uh, the first one you come across, and then the second one is generic. I tend to use generic, but you're, you may need different things. You can see there's uh, lots of different generic stuff. Um, so that's worked well for me so far. I'm gonna be picking the four pin generic connector. And I'm gonna drop that over here somewhere. So now I need a few more of these, but before I get them, I'm going to position these the way I want them. So I'm going to, you select the item by clicking on it, and you can tell that it's selected because all the whole item is highlighted, the, uh, the symbol itself and the lettering. So I'm going to rotate this by hitting R. I'm going to hit it twice because I want the cathode side to be facing this way because I'm going to have common ground. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate. You can right click on the uh, item and select duplicate. And then you can duplicate it. I'm going to hit escape. You can also uh, duplicate just by hitting control D. That's a little bit faster. So I'm going to do that again for this one, control D. And then we're going to do that for the resistor. Before I duplicate the resistor, I'm going to rotate that. And now I'll do a control D. And you see that I'm lining them up with the LED so it's easier to wire. So those are all the regular components. The next thing I want to add is mounting holes. Um, because mounting holes are can be electrically connected, uh, we want them on the schematic, just in case they are electrically connected. Mine aren't going to be. So they're a symbol just like anything else, and I can just type in mounting. 
and you see it's got I've got a mounting hole you can do it with a pad or without a pad and uh, a DIN rail adapter which you know um, telling you my experience I don't even know what that is so I need four mounting holes in my case so I'm gonna go back to the selector tool and I'm gonna do control D and control D and control D one more time so that's my four mounting holes so now I can now I can wire this up um, but actually before I do um, I want this connector oriented in such a way that it will wire nicely to each of these and also be um, pin accurate for the Arduino that it's going to plug into. So first I'm going to rotate it and now I'm going to flip it. Uh, actually I'm going to flip it horizontally. So let's do, so flip um, around the horizontal axis. You can just press X as well. One last, one last thing, I just want to move these so they're lined up. So to move a component you hit M and then you can move it. So now let's wire it. So to wire it, you use the green wiring tool here. So we're going to do add a wire and I'm just going to wire each resistor to its related LED. And then I'm going to wire each LED to each other. These are common grounds. And, you can, and you'll be able to see that the, um, the lines automatically connect. You see that node means they're connected. And then I'm going to go around and I'm going to come down. Let's go over a little bit more. And I'm going to come down to pin one. So pin one is going to be lined up with ground on my Arduino. So that's that's why I'm orienting it orienting it this way. And now I'm going to do the resistors. I'll do this easy one first, and then I'll do this one. So I just try to make it look pretty. We'll fix that in a second. And that's my whole circuit for this. Let me just fix that there. So that's our circuit completing completed. We just need to do a few things to get it ready for the printed for, to, uh, for the PCB part. First, we need to. Uh, assign footprints, um, or I'm sorry, we need to annotate. So this is going to change the question marks to numbers. So I'm gonna click on uh, this little notepad icon and we're going to click annotate. And you'll see if they're all green, we're, you're good to go. And I'm gonna just close this. So now you can see they're all numbered instead of question marks. So the next thing I'm gonna do, so for more complicated circuits, you might wanna perform an electric rules check, but for this one, it's gonna come up with nothing, I believe. Um, so now I'm going to run uh, CVPCB, which is assigned footprints. So you'll see it's, it lets us do this in mass. So here, here are all components and we could assign the footprint for, for each one. Before we do that, however, I'm going to try to do it a different way because I, that I think it will be a little bit more helpful. So I'm going to go to uh, LED1 and you can see there's a footprint field here. I'm going to select the library icon and that gives me this uh, footprint browser that went up to my other screen. I'm going to scroll down to LED and I'm going to do a through hole LED and I'm going to pick a very generic three millimeter one. And the one reason why you might want to do it this way is one, it shows the actual footprint and then you can also do a 3D view to have a, a, a double check. I keep going to my other screen to a double check to make sure it's um, to make sure it's what you want. So that is what I want, so that's good. So I'm gonna double click on this and, it'll, and it will be assigned, okay? So that's the LED assigned. Now I'm gonna pick the one of the resistors and this one I'm gonna do a right click on just to show you the different entry points for editing. And I can click on edit footprint or hit F. So I'm gonna do that there. Now I'm gonna click select. Now in my opinion, this should be the same library icon as in the other one, but I'm not a programmer, so. And you can see that um, it has my previous selection, which I don't want. I want a resistor. So we're going to go down to through hole resistors. And now this can be a little confusing. Um, mine is a, let's see, it says 3.6 long. So that's the barrel or other resistor. And my diameter is, I have to look it up. <laughs> let's see, I had a diameter of 1.6, yep. And the length or the pitch is 2.5. There it is up here. It is 2.54, but Let's see it. So it's axial 3.6. So I get everything, and then it's uh, it's horizontal. So let's see if I can find that vertical. Okay, I misspoke. It's the pitch is 5.08 millimeters, 
and that just happens to fit the resistors I have. So this is the distance from pin to pin. Um, and I'm saying pitch, I think that's what it is. So I'm gonna double click that like before, and you'll see it shows up in the, that field, and we're gonna click okay. And so for the mounting holes and the connectors, we'll do it uh, in the batch mode. But I wanted to show you the reason why I selected those first is now when I go into the footprint editor, you'll see that those are already selected. So it's a lot easier to, um, see I should be able to, a lot easier to match what you're doing. I thought it would go, would, would list for me, but it doesn't do that. That's okay. So now we go to LED, or let's see if uh, we can try auto populate too. Where's the auto populate? I think it's there. Let's see if it can figure is smart. Nope. Okay, so I don't know about that. So now we can just double click through and you'll notice if you double click, it goes to the next field for you. So now for mounting holes, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna find mounting holes here and we're just gonna do a 2.5 millimeter. I'm gonna do it with a pad and I'm gonna click through that. And then connector, we're gonna go down to, we're gonna go up to connectors and I'm gonna be doing a uh, pin, uh, pin connector and it's gonna be 2.5 millimeters and it's gonna be a one by four. So that's in this group here. And it's going to be horizontal to the, uh, I think we're right here, horizontal to the uh, circuit board. I think that's the right one. So, and then finally our resistors again, let's get those done. So we're gonna be doing through hole resistors and gotta find that same one again. So it's 3.6. So it's gonna be in this group here and it's diameter is 2.6, oh, 1.6 diameter. So this to me is the hardest part of the whole thing and it's horizontal. So I'll double click that and double click it again. So those, those look, look all good. Um, so I'm just gonna click okay. So now we have all our footprints. So now we can run the PCB tool. So when I click on this, it will take go into the PCB and bring up this window here. Um, but you notice we don't have any components yet. You actually have to, once you go into the PCB tool, you have to bring those, that, those footprints in. So clicking on this import tool here, which is also available in the tools menu, brings in um, all your components, or all your symbols in, into components in your, uh, PCB and the green the green lettering tells you everything worked out okay and you can see uh, total error is zero warnings error is zero zero so that's that's what we're looking for oops I hit escape on the wrong thing let's do that again click update PCB and close so you see it's grabbed so I'm just going to drop those in the middle and we're going to zoom up on it so you get this pile of components not in any particular order so we have to rearrange those so let's start rearranging those. So the first thing I like to do is you click on a you click on a component, and if you can't if uh, KiCad can't figure it out, it'll give you choices. So I've got this mounting hole selected. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to select that that pad too, that mounting hole. Move that. So I'm just getting these out of the way. Let's see if I click in the middle here. Okay. So we're just going to go through and kind of move these out of the way. I should be able to get that. There we go. And now I'm gonna just line up these LEDs. So I'm gonna put D1 at the top, I'm gonna to put D1 in the middle, and D3 at the bottom. Now I'm gonna bring the resistors. So I'm hitting move to move each one of these. And now the first thing is I wanna orient these resistors vertically. So I'm gonna uh, click on them, and I'm gonna hit, oh, let's just box select. So if you click and drag, you get a box select. And I'm just gonna hit rotate, and that's good. And rotate, and that's good. And rotate, so those are those are how I want them. Because, and then we're gonna uh, back, uh, bunch them up right in the middle here. So I'm just clicking, clicking, and then M for move. Now when you're putting resistors in, and you can see I got the text by mistake there, you wanna make sure you get the whole thing. When you're putting resistors in, you can put them t tighter than they look because they look they look bigger on the PCB than on the uh, than they actually come out. And we're gonna finally move this connector. Now before I do anything to the connector, I want that to be on the back side of the board. So let's double click it to get its properties. And you'll see in the footprint properties, top on the bottom left here, we can click back and click OK. So now that's on the back layer. And let's move it down. 
Now to, uh, to, to work on the back layer, if you want to add directly, you'd have to select that layer. But because I specifically put it on the black back layer, it will, it'll, the work done will be on that layer. So now let's rotate this and that's good. And this automatically has uh, through holes to, to the other side. So now all that's left is wiring, wiring up the circuit and oh, nope, I actually want to flip these around too. And these, these positions are just simply so it's e better, easier to wire, easier to run the circuit traces. So now let's move those to where we really want them. And let's bring the holes in a little bit. So I'm not gonna exactly match my design, but I'm just gonna get it close. Otherwise the video gets longer than it needs to be. Okay, and let's move that just one over. Nope, okay. So now let's start running the circuit traces. So let's run the circuit traces. I'm gonna zoom up a little bit so we can see a little bit better. And to run the traces, we're gonna select this tool right here. And first I'm just gonna do these grounding wires here. So it's just these cathodes, one, one to each one. And then uh, let's see, oops, so we got these, these are, I need to flip these around. So let's do that. I messed that up. So, so in order to, for the trace wires to go well, I just need to make these the opposite of what they were. R3 and rotate, rotate. Oops. And one other thing is, well, yes, yeah, so that goes there. Yep, okay. So now let's do the rest of it. So I'm gonna run this, this uh, anode to there. And now um, there are probably rules that you can follow for, for these circuits, but for these simple circuits like this and just hobby stuff, I, it probably doesn't really matter that much. Um, and then the final thing I'm gonna do is click on this and bring it around to that ground and then wire each one of these. I often do find myself, I want it to look a certain way, but um, I won't torture you with that during this video. So you can click at each node to kind of anchor it to get it better. And then if you if you do want to move it around, you can uh, pick, so let's say that we want it to make this a little bit bigger. You can pick drag 45 and you can drag it and you see how it pushes the other one around. So it's a really nice feature. So let's drag this one. So you can get a pretty nice looking, nice looking circuit just by dragging these around. Let's try one more drag to then get this so that's terrible, but anyway, you get the idea. So you can you can uh, sort of paint your circuits and get them the way you exactly the way you like it and make it artwork. So let's take a quick look at this as it sits now, and we're going to use a three D viewer. So let's do a three D viewer, and you can see that it's it's is getting to be what we want. But you see the board itself is too big. Um, I'll ignore that the holes are out of alignment for now. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this three D viewer over here, and uh, Let's make this half size here. See if I can get my uh, get my screen to dock it. Oh, that's right. I, I remember. I think this doesn't dock correctly. KiCad doesn't dock on this version of Linux. So the reason I'm leaving that there is you'll notice that uh, it'll it, it will you, there is sort of an update. So to add the edge of the board, we have to change to that layer. So if we we want to go to edge cuts, so with that blue triangle, that shows us we're at that layer. And now the work we do is on that layer. And that's important for board manufacturing layer later on. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle around my board. And let's see if, how well things, we'll learn how well things got lined up real fast. So this one's gonna be a little bit bigger than the one I, the one I uh, demoed. And that's it for the board layer. So now when I go, now when I go back to the 3D view, I think it's saving, hold on. Oh, my computer catches up. Now if I click on the 3D view, you see, you see it changed. And uh, <laughs> changed for the worse, I see, because we just, uh, <laughs> that's gonna fall off. So let me show you quick how to move this line. So you'll notice I grabbed it with a box select. You can click right on the line, but I've noticed that sometimes it just does not wanna be selected. See how I had to click it a couple times? Let's bring this wire down here. So I'm just grabbing the white box and dragging it. And then I'm gonna select these, and I'm gonna bring that down. The lines have to be contiguous. They have to be connected or else you won't get a good board edge. So now let's update our board edge and there we go. 
So that's pretty much it. That's our. That's how we uh, create a uh, uh, simple circuit board in um, in KiCad. Um, some of the things I haven't done yet is put labels on these. Uh, so for example, if you wanted to put the label ground on here, we'd select the front silk layer with the, with so that the blue triangle is on the front silk layer. And then we'd select the text tool. So you can just place the text wherever you want it. And I'm gonna type in the label ground and we're gonna make it bigger. Or actually, I think I need, need to make it smaller. So let me leave it at one for now so you can see that's uh so that's front silk so now when we go back to the 3d view you can see that it's updated so your 3d view is great for you know knowing you're getting what you're expecting because it's sometimes it's hard to see on the circuit board um and it, you know it shows you everything including the traces um and you can flip it around and see how things are poking through so i highly recommend getting used to the 3d viewer and using it i think it's a wonderful tool and uh that's that's going to be it um, I think you could figure out how to put 13, 12, and 11 here. And if you wanted to rearrange these, uh, right, well, well, let's rearrange one of those. Sorry, I keep saying it's over. So, uh, oops, sorry. A little misclick there. So let's get back into PCB view. So you can move these texts around. Text. Sorry, I keep picking the wrong thing. Um, it's this select tool. <laughs> you can move these around by selecting just the reference. So you see value of lead. D2 or D1. So now when I hit move, it's just that text. And it snaps to the grid just like uh, like anything else would. So you can rearrange things and, and prettify your board and make it easier to understand or assemble. So now when I look at the 3D viewer, you'll see that the numbers have, have uh, the letterings have moved over. Another thing we could put these resistor numbers right under the resistor. And you can also put uh, labeling on it so that people know it's your board. So anyway, well, I hope you like this channel. I'll be doing more KeyCAD um, in between my free CAD videos. And then uh, eventually I hope to uh, add some coding videos, but um, make sure you subscribe and click on the alarm bell so you get notified. Have a great day, thanks.